Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. The garden update finally dropped a brand new massive update to make farming so much better. And I haven't had the chance to play it yet, so you're getting my live reaction this stream. I'm sure my purse is going to be at zero coins by the end of it because it's just farming. Surely things can't be that expensive. But then I remember the wheat hoe, how much that set me back. And then I remember you all want me to G7, P7, everything under the sun. So let's get into it. Basically, when you first join your island, you'll get a message saying a stranger has appeared on your island as a set of coordinates. He goes to those coordinates. My stranger is drowning down here for whatever reason. We speak to them and they'll send us over to the garden. She unlocks a skybot level five. Dude, she doesn't shut up. Help her out. Yes, get me in, please. Now the garden is basically an extension of your private island, which is cool. We have a whole second expansion to it. As you can see, we already have farms set up. That's because my rat co-op have actually been playing without me and the garden is shared between your co-op. So we can't do a full on live reaction, I guess, which kind of sucks, but hey, at least I don't have to go to the effort of cleaning up all my plots. But regardless, when you first join, you get a quest off of Sam that you have to do. It's pretty simple. And then you can go into the desk and configure your plots. You have to buy the plots or progress through your garden quest to unlock more of them. And then you click on them and you have to clean them out of all the gunk that's on there. And then you can select from a bunch of different presets and the garden will automatically build the farms for you. You have to do absolutely nothing. No more wasting all of your life planting crops and building farms which takes hours upon hours before you can even get into farming. You literally just join this place, select a preset, and it will build all of this for you. It looks like my co-op haven't done anything with the preset, so this is exactly what you'll end up with. And it is beautiful and will certainly make farming a lot more accessible to everybody in the game and not such a pain. Now, I don't know anything else about the garden. I wanted this to be a live reaction and see what's in it for myself. I don't know what the armor sets are. I didn't really play much of it on the alpha. I have no idea what's going on, so we're going to explore it and complete some quests so we can start unlocking the rest of our plot. First off, let's have a look at what our garden level is. Level 10, which is nice considering I haven't done anything. It's good that that's actually shared between all of the co-ops. So what do you unlock? You get more visitors? I don't think that's player visitors. I think that's NPCs who will visit your garden. You give them items and you get XP and rewards and all that kind of stuff. We get crop upgrades, different crops to unlock, and skyblock XP. All I really care about is skyblock XP. There's also barn skins. I know you can customize how the barn looks in here. So it looks like we have it set to the medieval one. Let's try setting it to like sunny. I don't know. I want to change how things look in here. And this is actually dope. It will live just replace your entire setup like that. And it's so clean. I can't believe they managed to pull off something like that. Look at that. That is honestly so hot. I can't get over this animation. When you change to like the other funkier skins, like there's a giant Jerry, which is disgusting, I know. But I tried it out on the alpha and it's quite weird watching your whole plot get slowly taken over by Jerry. It's quite disconcerting, I can't lie. But yeah, it's such a cool feature that you can add skins. And I'm pretty sure you can even buy them with gems. So if you decide to copy any of those, you all know. Code Refraction. Oh, there's a new community shop upgrade. Garden farming fortune. Extra farming fortune while on the garden. That's pretty cool. All right, we may as well max that out. Give it to me. Spend all of my gems. Thank you. Oh, I'm already out. I know what must be done. Bye. <laughs> Shameless. We're buying way too many, but hey, I'm sure I'll find use for them at some point. Proceed to checkout. Obviously, we have to get the 5% discount refraction up in there. And now I probably shouldn't stream this part of the process. Your package of 16,400 Skyblock gems has been processed and delivered. Let's go. Paying to win farming fortune. Boom. Level two, level three, and level four. Oh my gosh. How high does this go? Level five? Dude, that costs so many gems. Level six? Level seven? Oh my God, I'm actually going to be bled dry of gems. I thought buying that many was overkill. Level eight? Dude, it actually doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. <laughs> Farming Fortune 10. Surely this is the last one. I don't have enough gems. I just blew through $100 worth of gems. That has to be the last one. It has to be. No shot on my one off of maxing that out. Screw it. I'm buying the last one. Oh my days. Not only is this update going to bleed my purse dry in game, it's bled it dry IRL. Let me just double check. That is the last one, right? Okay. Thank you. Plus 40 farming fortune. That's actually pretty fat. Let's get back to the garden and actually see what we need to do in this update because I have no idea. All I know is we need to use the composter, progress in Sam's quest to be able to do this. Oh, I didn't realize I'd have to speak to her. I thought my corp had already sorted it all out. I guess you all have to do the Sam's quest. Yo, that's the easiest five Skyblock XP of my life. 25 wheat. I've bled and dried for that amount of XP in the past. What do you mean? Another five XP? Yo, this is free, dude. Purchase a garden plot at the desk. 
desk. Um, ah, is this where I'm soft locked in the quest because my co-op have already bought all the plots? Oh, I'm going to need a lot more compost than that, dude. Oh, wait, you can buy it on the bazaar? That is very useful. Thank you, chat. 120 ace. How much does that set me back? Wow, um, that's a lot of money. I did not expect it to be that much money. This stuff must generate slowly. Oh, yeah, you get one like every 10 minutes or something. Yeah, okay. Now, which one do we get? Which one will make it look pretty? Oh, I suppose we'll finish off the right-hand side. Let's do that. Amazing. We got ourselves a brand new plot. Now to the dirty part. The plot has to be cleaned up before it can be used. Let's go over there and get this place all cleaned up. What the hell? We got to do foraging as well, bro? Oh, no. I wasn't told this. I thought we'd just have to break some flowers and some grass. This is not it, Chief. Buy a garden site? Yeah, I'm absolutely buying a garden site. Anything to make this less miserable. Players a five by five area. Nice. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you. Hello, Phoenix Gamer. What you got for me, sir? This man's is giving me a full melon set? Is this the best armor set or something? I mean, it gives farming fortune. A pretty juicy amount of farming fortune at that. This full set gives you more than the $150 I just spent <laughs> for an uncommon armor set. That is disgusting. Is this the best set? It's the worst one? Okay, well, it's something. At least we get to showcase it for the stream. Pretty interesting little set, though. It'd be nice uh, if I knew how you actually got it. Oh, you get it at the end of the melon collection. That's not too bad. Getting out a tree cap feels weird. I didn't even use this thing to get foraging 50. <laughs> I just used cherry boxes. It's been a long time since I've used this bad boy. You can fly? You can fly here? I'm assuming that's part of the cookie buff. Yeah, I guess technically we are still on our island. That's actually hella useful. I'm here walking around like a fool. I feel so powerful now. Still got to take half an hour to clear this bloody plot. <laughs> Apparently I screwed myself over because the further out the plots are from the center, the harder they are to clear out. And I chose the furthest plot I could. <laughs> Pain. I didn't realize there was a progress tracker in the sidebar, but we can see our percentage of our cleanup. And man, is that moving slowly. I'm glad I moved to breaking the trees first though, because obviously when the leaves start to decay, I'm sure we'll start to rack up on the percentage. 99%, couple more breaks, and we should be golden. It's squeaky clean over there. Sam, your standards are almost as low as my subscribers, but I appreciate that I'm not cleaning up the rest of that. You can grow crops you've unlocked out there. Yes, dude. I finally get to actually show what making a plot looks like. So what do we want to put over there? I'm feeling pumpkins. Pumpkins are the OG. I like pumpkins. Let's buy them from the bazaar. That's actually kind of useful. You can do that. Start paste. Use the resources you bought here to begin pasting. And let's watch this happen. It's so cool how the barn can do this, bro. The fact it doesn't even lag whatsoever. Like I can just TP around while it's doing this. And the fact you can obviously reskin your barn over there and it does the same kind of animation is so cool. Look how easy it's cleaning through everything. I just spent like 20 minutes of my life going through that. Unreal scenes. Now let's see what Sam's got for us. I need to finish this quest. Then we can start hypermaxing some armor set. I have an idea. Why don't you collect me some wheat and I'll bake us some lovely bread for dinner. I got you, brother man. That was quick. Here, take some fresh bread. I have an idea. We could open a small sand and sell our wheat to other people. Ah, so this is how we start getting the visitors. Nice. Find Sam at the shop stand. How's it going? Thank you for the bread, by the way. I appreciate you. Even though you can't actually eat in high pixel skyblock we already have our first customer greetings you're telling me i have to serve jerry to advance the you shouldn't be glad to meet me man the admin should have made some custom dialogue for when he actually speaks to me frick you dude mm. I don't want to serve Jerry. But if I refuse him, I feel like I'll soft lock myself at the quest anyway. So I have to. Oh my God. Of course he wants enchanted melon blocks as well. Why so prestigious, Jerry? All right, just take it, dude. Give me my rewards. Get out of here. He's legendary as well. This is not my realm. I must return you. Get out of here, fool. Keep checking back on them. I'm sure more people will visit our farm soon. Anybody but him, please. If he revisits, I will be most upset. More Skyblock XP. And I believe we've completed Sam's quest. You're love to see it. So now we can actually start playing the update properly and figuring out how it works. That's a lot of copper. Wait, is that actually a lot of copper? I don't even know what copper does. Is this where we spend it? Ah, that makes sense. You can upgrade individual crops to gain even more farming fortune from them. Oh my days. This update's actually huge. 
You know what? I actually, I actually really, really like this. We're too low of a level to actually upgrade any of our stuff there. So I guess the next thing we need to do is start getting ourselves some XP. Let's have a look at how you actually do that. I guess you go and garden milestones, right? So we have crop milestones. There's bestiary for crops now. Sweet. We're about to get some XP off of carrots. Kind of halfway there on pumpkin. Close-ish on mushroom. So I guess we focus on those if we want garden XP. We also have visitor milestones. Serving unique visitors will give us XP. Farming XP and skyblock XP. And accepting offers will give us those as well. And we can see our logbook of all the different visitors we've gotten. That's kind of cool. I wonder how you trigger visitors to visit. Whoa, there's a lot of them. The one last thing we need to check is the Sky Mars, apparently. There's a new enchant there, Sunder. Oh, this is where we spend copper, I see. There's barn skins that we can get here, including ones for gems. Ooh, if I have some spare gems left over, I may as well just buy those so I have them. Oh, wait, I think we already had the windmill one. Have I just wasted 250 gems? Surely you can auction them, right? Okay, you can. Nice, nice. Easy six mil. Ooh, this skin's kind of dope. Yeah, this is sick. I like this one a lot. So let's go back in here and check out the rest of the Sky Mart. So what you got for me, game? There's gardening, axes. I think my other stuff is better. And there's a set of Lotus equipment. Oh, this is the farming equipment set then, I guess. All gives 10 health and 5 farming fortune. Peace bonus salesperson. Complete garden visitor offers to gain farming fortune. That's kind of cool, actually. Does each piece get that? Yeah, each piece. It's not a full set bonus. Ooh, I don't want to waste my copper on that, though. I think I'm going to cop that from the auction house. There we go. And now I'm sure it's going to be the most painful part of the stream where I have to buy the armor set. I don't even know what it's called. You all have been hinting at it in the chat, but I've forgotten the name. And I'm terrified of how expensive this is going to be before we even put the enchants on it. Fermento? Oh no. When there's so few pieces on the age, that's how you know it's pricey. Jesus H Christ, man. I mean, it looks pretty. This is a really pretty armor set. Give it to me. All right. So this is pretty convoluted. So I I guess we'll start with the melon armor. The melon armor from the melon collection is the base set of the armor. And then you can upgrade it into crappie armor with this recipe here. And to get crappie to upgrade it, it's from the full set bonus. Farming wheat, carrots, and potatoes has a small chance of dropping a crappie. Once you get enough, you can obviously upgrade it into the crappie helmet. Then once you have the crappie helmet, you have a chance of dropping squash, which you can use to upgrade the crappie helmet into the squash helmet, which then has a chance of dropping a fermento. And then you can use the fermento to upgrade the squash items into the fermento set. Wow. And that's how you make condensed fermento. You need nine of them. So we need 18 just for a chest plate, for example. Wow. Yeah, no wonder that set. That set seems kind of cheap considering all the materials required to make it. Wow. Okay, this definitely is actually deserving of being maxed out, even though my purse kind of scares me. Am I even able to max this out? Bro, there's no point putting G7 P7 on it. It's a farming set. Oh, God. It seems that Mushroom Cow is still the play, which actually grants you farming fortune based off of how much strength that you have. So recommon ancient is actually the best. Enchants are entirely useless, by the way. This is literally all we need. Recommon ancient for the time being. Nothing else will help us, I'm pretty sure. Oh, but I'll never forgive myself, and neither will chat. How much is G7P7? Let me just let me just sate my curiosity. Hmm. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Protection 7's worthless. We should be chilling here. Yeah, that's a stark contrast. <laughs> Are you happy now, lads? Oh my gosh, this has been so long since we've done this. G7, P7, G7, P7, G7, P7, and G7, P7. It never gets any easier, particularly when you're putting it on sets that do not benefit from it whatsoever. It's a literal farming set that I'm going to be using exclusively on my private island. Nothing will ever touch me here. And yet chat has bullied me into doing this. I cannot believe it. Everything else is kind of useless, but... You know, if I have visitors, Legion could be kind of useful. And, you know, just having a G7P7, that's that's not cool. We got to deck it out a little bit more. Damage test. <laughs> Honestly, maxing stuff out these days is mental with how many things there are in the game. If the hex didn't exist, this would be such pain. We may as well go all in. Big PP5. We do big brain five. Oh. 
This is a mistake. But I'm already below two bills, so coins are irrelevant at this point. Hang on. Yo, you lot came in clutch, you know. Thank you, Atorek. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Gems well spent. Thank you for the five, Liam. New talisman from the visitor, Beth. You got to accept her trade offers four times. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. There's a new accessory from this as well. Dude, there is so much content here. But at last, my armor set is made. Holy, this armor set is drippy. It kind of looks like the Clover Helm. I like this set, you know. Oh, we're not finished. If strength is still the meta for farming, that means we put the strength and reforge on all of this stuff and recom it as well. Recoms at eight mil. Blech. This is suffering. All right. I think we're officially set now, apart from the tools and the new accessory. I don't know what the new tools or the accessory are, and we'll find out in due course. But this is officially a maxed out farming setup, and it's pretty fit. To be honest, my pass isn't as bad as I thought it would end up. Like I said, there's still a few things left, which I'm kind of afraid of, but we'll see. Now to figure out how much farming fortune we actually have. So we need strength. That means we should put on, funnily enough, not the strong reforge, the forceful reforge and dump all of our stats into strength and let's see what our farming fortune is now if we have a mushroom cow pet and hold out a chimera five daedalus axe we have 994 i don't know if that's good or not that sounds kind of high i mean i guess i'm holding a chimera daedalus axe let's see what it is without that 686 that's pretty good put sunder five on the daedalus axe 62.5 farming fortune what that's busted for only a mill as well i want to try farming with this why can I not do that? You can't add it? Oh, you can't put it on a day axe. That's unfortunate, man. We can put that on our other things, though. Now, the painful path before we get into any farming is apparently rancher boots are better to use than fermento boots because this does have a set bonus. As you can see, it combines the tiered bonuses of all the armor sets beneath it, which means you can drop that crappie and the squash and all that kind of stuff, which is going to make you racked. But you don't actually need to wear the full set for it. So we are better off using rancher's boots, which I do already have maxed out thankfully i don't have to spend any more money but that's kind of painful how i just made those and i will probably never use them but hey i have a load of items like that so it's fine it's for the museum right <laughs> Lantern helmet. That's new. For every farming level, this helmet gains two defense, four health, and one farming fortune whilst holding an axe. So that's another 60 farming fortune. So that also beats out our Fermento helmet. What is this? Half the things I'm farming <laughs> don't even need me to wear the Fermento sets. Guess we're not finished with the hex. Ancient and recon. This update is actually bleeding me dry. Redound on it. You know what? Ancient isn't that expensive. I'm all right to lose a little bit of money there. I wonder why we use renowned on this one. Interesting. Sting. All right, this is a funky looking armor set, but apparently this is the best one to use for using an axe. So I guess we'll see how this goes. Our pumpkin farm is ready to go, but chat is telling me there's an upgrade to the bloody pumpkin and melon dicers now. So we may as well do that. Right clicking on it shows us the pumpkin dicer 2.0. We need 16 polished pumpkins. That is not too bad at all. Thank you. I'm sure the 3.0 is where it's going to sting. Oh, this also isn't too bad. Okay, I can live with that. And pumpkin dicer 3.0. Mythic, that is looking hot. And finally, la piste de la resistance. Sunder 5, which gives us another 62 farming fortune. Jesus. And at long last, we can begin farming pumpkins. Let's go, dude. Hot potato books and fumings and art of war. Wait, you're actually right because we're using strength. Please, can I play the game now? Bro, we are an hour and 22 minutes into the stream and we have just begun farming properly. <laughs> there is that much content here. Honestly, I'm impressed. I didn't think there'd be enough for a full stream, but man, we have got so much to do here. Even though I'm not sure how much of it I'll stream because most of it is literally just getting all of those farming milestones, which is definitely gonna suck. Do we just buy the new accessory? Can you even buy it? Oh, you can. Increases the number of pelts obtained when hunting animals that kind of sucks really but it's a new accessory we could just wait for beth to visit four times i think i'm just gonna wait for that honestly it's the most unrefraction thing i've ever said but we have spent so much money this stream dude forget that <laughs> What are all these sound effects? Oh my gosh, I've already filled up my sacks. That's what we get for having this much farming fortune. How much do we even have? 834? Fam. 
Dude, you know what they should have done in this update? No cap. They should have done something in the bit shop that upgrades the amount of slots you can have in your personal compactor. That would have been perfect for this update. I don't even have enchanted pumpkins in here. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I like never farm. But wow, that would have been a sick thing to add in this update. Get me on the game design team, lads. It would make so much sense. I'm so tired of carrying around. I think I have like three that I cycle between. It'd make more sense if you could just have one and upgrade it. <laughs> like with auto pets or something. Wait, I'm already at the end of my pumpkin farm? What is this? Also, what? Next visitor queue full? I have visitors? I have NPCs on my island? Yo! What's popping, gamers? Trevor, I've been tracking an animal for the past few days. Got anything I can use as bait? Uh, what do you want from me? 535 enchanted red mushroom. Yo, these guys are demanding. Coming right up, Trevor. There you go. Beer mongra. Oh, I like how these are actual like Skywalk NPCs. And they walk up the queue. Yo, that's actually sick. Oh, I thought my garden level leveled up. We got a garden milestone. Unique visitors served up to level nine. Okay, nice, nice. I want to see how close we are to leveling up. Oh, quite far away, actually. Wow. Bro, this update has made farming so profitable. The amount of items you need to make all the new armor sets and various different things, let alone these visitors being a literal item sink. Like, farming's gonna be profitable for a long time after this. Holy. Three enchanted sugar came. Yes, sir. And all of our visitors are done with. So we need to keep an eye on that in tab. You can see our next visitor. They come once every 15 minutes, apparently. But wow, we do fly through crops quickly. I can't believe how quickly we broke through all of those pumps. Pumpkins. I want to test something now because I like the layout we have going on with our pumpkins there. And I don't want to have to build the slabs again over here. So I'm going to try and see if we can copy and paste this pumpkin layer over there. I believe that's a feature. Ah, there we go. Save presets and we call it slabs. Now we go to plot 16 and we use slabs. Now let's see if that works. <gasps> It's beautiful. Oh, that is such a good feature. Oh my God, that is actually dope. That is so, so, so cool. I really, really like that. Bro, what a sick update. How's it going, Fragilis? Can you bring me the hardest block you can mine? You can have these nuts, brother man. Enchanted cactus, I got you. I feel like the task is realistically when you get visitors, you should just go and farm what they ask for. But I'm taking the lazy man through. I'm just gonna buy them off the bazaar, man. <laughs> oh wait, there's a Jacob's farming contest on right now. Cactus, melon, and sugarcane? Get me in the sugarcane farm quick! I actually need the gold medals. Oh god, these are actually gonna be kind of competitive now, I bet. Oh no. We're only four minutes into the contest. I'm still not gold, by the way, so it definitely is competitive now, even though I missed the first minute. And I'm already almost at the end of my plot. I'm halfway through it. This doesn't bode well. I'm gonna need, like, three plots for each crop if I wanna get gold medals, right? That's kind of mental. Otherwise, I've got no chance. Like, straight up, I can't get this gold medal. I don't have enough. Am I gonna have to go to my private island? I mean, I guess I could still farm there. The armor and that would still work, obviously. I just don't get the farming fortune but from the community center. You can build up vertically on plots? Oh, that's a game changer. The sad part is, I was so hyped for this whole thing to involve no building, and I guess it does get you into farming easier without having to build, but yeah, you still have to do some building if you want to optimize it. I don't know why, I just didn't think you'd be able to build vertically. Vertically. That's really useful to know. Now, the only problem is to get this gold medal, I do have to go to my private island. And I've only just realized we did just get a sugarcane milestone. And if I go on my island, that's not going to count. <laughs> but you know what? I actually need the gold medals for Anita. So we'll make sacrifices for Skyblock XP chat. It has to be done. I'm feeling empowered right now, you know. I'm playing on my island so I don't get all of the farming fortune buffs. And I'm just about to actually catch up the gold. Give it to me. I have to compare what my fortune is on my island versus in the garden. We have 715 here still. That's commendable. So we got to be pushing, what, like 800 in the garden comparatively? With this setup, at least. Gold, let's go, dude! We don't need no garden up in here. We're too strong. I spoke too soon. Come on, give it back. I want it. I want it. Please. There we go, lads. There we go. We ain't dipping back into silver now. The game has realized I am where I belong. Did you drop any fermentos? I haven't dropped anything yet. Wait, that's actually a good point. I haven't dropped anything yet. Although I've barely done any farming. I'm assuming you can't get like the fermento drops on your island. Actually, that's a good question. Does the set bonus of fermento armor still work on your private island? I haven't dropped any of those little upgrades yet. But then again, the chances to get them are astronomically low low and I barely done any farming on the garden. Bugs with cane and cactus. Oh, nice. <laughs> the one crop I'm farming en masse. Sweet. And fermento armor doesn't work at all. Oh, wait, this, this ability doesn't even work. 
12. Fantastic. Wonderful. I love spending like a billion coins on a new armor set for it not to work. <laughs> hey, at least we get farming fortune. Oh, but hey, when it does work, that's actually going to be fat stacks, you know. That is such nice passive income to have from an item ability. Apparently, the cane in my garden's back. I'm 30k over silver. I think we got time to go back to the garden. We may as well finish things off here just so it counts towards my milestones. Let's go. How many visitors we got? <gasps> we got Beth. Beth is the legendary visitor. I think if we speak to her, what, three or four times, she gives us an accessory. Yo, I wonder if that counts towards your co-op as well. Does everyone on your co-op have to speak to her four times? Two seconds left. 40,000 over silver. We've cleared it, lads. Now let's have a look at what our fortune is here. 815, yeah, it's what I thought it would be. Damn, that's actually a massive difference. And I still smash gold on my island. You love to see it. I'm actually talented at the video game. You've got Terry Cruz. We got Beth. We got a royal resident. Isn't this the NPC I spent like 12 hours talking to while he was just counting? Oh my god, I need one more ingredient to make the cake for the next person I can get to listen to me. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> so do you have to actually speak to this guy for 12 hours to get him to appear in your garden? That's ridiculous, man. Get out of here. I never want to speak to you again. I want to speak to Beth. Jake says he can't walk, but I've seen him walk yesterday and he asked strangers to get him some animals, but these animals are nowhere to be found. We give him Beth all the goods, dude. She deserves it. She gives us an accessory. I want that. Thank you. Getting close to solving this mystery. You best be. You best be. And what's up, Terry Crews? Wanting stuff for Old Spice? It's like my ice cream, but ice never really tastes like anything for me. Bing chilling. Enchanted melon. There there you go, brother man. All visitors dealt with. Easy gold medal and new armor set maxed. I think we've pretty much smashed this. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here. And I will see you all soon. Peace.